Okay. All right. Oof. Well, good morning, beautiful, wise women of the Sisters Collective. Happy Friday to all of you. I hope you guys are all doing amazingly well. Uh, my apologies for being on a little tardy. I was trying to ensure that I got the information on here uh, correctly. Um, so I am gonna put up something here for you guys to come and take a look and to see for yourself. Just give me a second here while I make sure <clears throat> to pen this message and also provide you guys with some information about something else. So good morning, my divine star seeds. I hope you guys are all doing amazingly well. I am coming on here today. Uh, for those of you who don't know me and are new here in this wonderful divine group of collective sisters, my name is Maria De Luna. I'm an ancestral witch, spiritual business mentor. I help all awakened women and beings really step into their divinity, capture their true magic within themselves, and open and access all of their manifestations, true gifts releasing all of the prosecutional imprints and as well as releasing any holds in the auras that do not keep them into their highest self. <clears throat> hello, sisters. Thank you, Shannon. Welcome, Jamie. Hello, divine beings. And for those of you on the replay, I hope you guys are having a beautiful Friday. I wanted to come on here because I have had the most profound last two weeks of complete movement of joy, complete releases of um, clearings that have come through and the upgrades that I have received from the spiritual realms have been nothing more than truly amazing. I feel like a million dollars more than that, a trillion, a billion, a quadrillion dollars right now, because as you guys know, hello, Anna, as you guys know, I had a really, really intense neck injury that took me out for a week. And during that time, I received one of the most beautiful channels that I have ever received with spirit for quite some time. They helped me release a lot of the prosecutional imprints that kept me stuck in a certain area. So I want to really reach to you guys on a universal level here right now. Sorry if you guys hear me clicking. <laughs> I'm trying to like do 10 things at once here. So First off, if you see me looking to the side like this, it isn't because I'm not staring at you. It is because I am trying to ensure I will give you the information that's been giving and it's good to always have notes and stuff as well. So first and foremost, I'm gonna ask you guys, for those of you who are here, to just breathe into your heart space and your solar plex and your sacral in your chakras, the yellows and as well as the green. Now, these are the abundance colors that actually come to us more often than we know and what we think. And so right now, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to channel in Gaia with us here because she's asking to come forth and speak with you in the presence of true abundance and awareness of what is actually occurring right now at this very moment with our earth, with ourselves, with our upgrades, with our transitions, with our clearing of our bodies and our energies to release into the highest forms towards the councils of light. And as I 
connect with her. That was quick. Always very fast with Gaia. She's a true divine mother to me. As I connect with her, one of the many things is that a lot of us get really stuck with this formation that we are not receiving enough. And so what Gaia is coming in with is quite fascinating to me because she keeps saying that we are disconnecting too often within our dimensional worlds that we are truly harnessing and honing into this abundance. And the reason why she's asked us to connect to the heart chakra and as well as the solar plexus because yellow and green are the color of true abundance in the universe. If you look at the color sequences, green and yellow are very strong, prominent, and have a lot of different um, abilities to be connected with other colors. You put yellow and green, you get like some other color. I forget. Don't ask me about the color sequences. They're so different in my own 3D realms here. But the clearing of this is really just to go in. And I'm going to share with you guys right here, right now, how to work with this. This is about you and about the true wisdom as an enlightened and ascended soul truly has the ability to connect with. And so I am coming in to give this to you. This is the channel of the universe that they want you all to receive. So for those of you who are on right here, right now with me, you get to have some fun with this. Okay, I'm going to need you guys to just be in a sacred space, breathing into your heart, breathing into your, your solar plaques, breathing into those beautiful chakras. And as you breathe in, just feel your body, feel yourself, feel everything that you have. And everything that you are. And when we finish, I would love for you to come on to write about your experiences and what comes through. And you're going to be doing this in a little bit as well, though, too. Now we're going to use the word, I deserve to manifest big money into my life. Actually, no, we'll use this one. I deserve big money miracles. On a scale of one to 10, I want you to feel into that and repeat that to yourself saying, I deserve big money miracles and as you feel into that where is that sensation coming from is it coming from your heart are you feeling tingles are you feeling resistance i would love to hear from the sisters who are here to take a moment again and breathe that in again i deserve big money Miracles. One more time. I deserve big money miracles. How are you feeling, my loves? Share with me your thoughts and as well as where it's coming from in the sensations of your body and in your soul, within your spirit. Mm, I feel it in my crown and way above my crown. On a scale of one to 10, my divine sister Shannon, what number comes to you on how truly you feel and believe in that for yourself? And for those of you who are watching on the replay, 
you're more than welcome to practice this into yourself and tell me how you're feeling. Mm, a beautiful eight, fantastic. So now we're going to do what's called the releasing of the prosecutional imprints. This is a key that was gifted to us as light workers. As I mentioned before, it isn't the first time we've all not been here. Your heart is bursting open with spirit rising. Yours is an eight, beautiful divine sister, Jamie, wonderful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase what's called the thermostat of money frequencies within you today. And the reason I'm doing this here on Friday is because I always feel that weekends are fully abundant, right? We're always connecting to abundance, always. So I'm gonna go ahead and say the words and I want you to repeat after me. And these are the releases, some of them that we're gonna go into. And it's all related to uh, present lifetimes, past lifetimes, previous ancestral wounds, uh, disconnections of all of our starseed moments that we have been taken away from the true prosperities of ourselves. And so I'm gonna go ahead and weave this in with you guys. And we're going to say you because we're, we're speaking to our soul. We're speaking to our higher self here. And we're going to use the words, I am sorry as well. And we're going to repeat this as many times until that sensation, that tingling of disconnection removes itself as much as you want, as much as you need today. And I do advise for those of you that are listening, to ensure that you have some water beside you so that you can hydrate again and again and again. Okay. I am sorry you did not receive that big miracle before. I am sorry you did not receive that big miracle before. I am sorry that someone else got the miracle in front of you and flaunted it in your face. I am sorry that someone else got the miracle and flaunted it in your face. I am sorry that you are sad because you struggled. I am sorry that you are sad because you struggled. And sisters, divine souls, if you're feeling into this, I want you to connect to yourself to ensure that you are connecting to that. If you need to repeat that same sentence again to help release that string, that thread that holds you to this, do so. I am sorry that you were not given the money to support you and your family in your hardest times. I am sorry you were left behind with nothing to give to yourself. I am sorry you had to work so hard and only receive something so minimal. I am sorry no one saw you and accepted you without the concept of money. I am sorry you lost friends because they didn't understand that you couldn't go out due to lack of money. I am sorry that you feel alone.
I am sorry that that big miracle didn't come to you. I am sorry that you've lost money along the way and suffered. Now, I want you to feel into that, my divine sister. And when you have a moment, I want you to write to me what you felt. Is your heart bursting? Is your, is your soul feeling into this tingleness? Do you feel resistance? Do you feel that your heart is pulsating? releasing itself to feel into those words. And if you need to take a minute, I'd like you to drink your water if you can. Mm. I started physically moving energy with my hands. Fantastic. And how does that feel now, Shannon? Mm, beautiful. Sweeping away as we went through each of them. Good. Releasing into that disconnection within ourselves. So on a scale of one to 10, again, ladies, on a scale of one to 10 again, how are we feeling with this money frequency now? And are you seeing yourself rising about the numbers that you already had prior? So some of you have said eight. When I started into this, it was so funny. I was with Spirit and they were like, okay, you can't be a 10 right away. I'm like, okay, what about an 8.5? <laughs> I like to joke with my spirits and my ancestors <laughs> because it, it is truly funny to me how much we do hold a lot of the frequencies of regret and this, this illusion that we can't have enough in ourselves, right? So this is what Gaia has been giving me as well. I was telling everyone I had this massive download to bring forth something and I just thought it's time for us to bring this through. So, um, I see another sister on here. If you want to share as well, too, if, if not, that is okay as well on where you're feeling and how those are connecting. So now that the energy is flowing through to you, I want you to hone into your energy and just kind of place it right in your solar plex as if you were gathering it together. And then placing that energy and pushing it into your solar plex so that you can emerge all of your chakras into the yellow and fully awakening all of your chakra systems. My inner heart says I wasn't ready spiritually yet. I had to come to a place of healing. I have great gratitude because it brought me to a place of spiritual renewal. I feel the old me getting removed and replaced with my higher being. I'm feeling eight. <clears throat> so we're still at the same numbers. <clears throat> Let's push you guys not push you, but get you to a higher frequency. I'm going to get you to say the one word that we were saying already. I deserve big money miracles. I deserve big money miracles. Feel into that. Do you feel that frequency, that sensation, the vibration of the universe, along with Mother Gaia supporting you, rooting you, working with you, 
connecting with you. Do you sense that sensation of how things truly move? This is the prosecution that has been left with us, an imprint that we do not acknowledge. We're in this fight or flight energy consistently as humans moving as if we're like scrounging to make the next thing work and this work and this work. But it's not that. I want you to look at your life right here, right now, where you are and what is happening. Okay. I want you to see just how easy that energetical frequency that can be achieved. So if you're going through your day, and I say this because Gaia is bringing this in, if you are going through your day and you are feeling disconnected, if you are feeling as if no one is truly listening to you, if you are feeling alone, if you are feeling unworthy, say the words with me. I deserve big money miracles. If it's about money, if it is about love, I deserve all the love I give and I will receive. These are just one of the many things that I will be working with. So ladies, if you are re-watching this or if you're here right now, I know these are all coming in as surprises. I am giving these prosecutional imprints clearings for 60 USD. Why am I doing that? Because to me, abundance is everything. I'm making it very affordable because it's about you too. Seriously, I think the fees just pay for, you know, like regular things that I have to upkeep as well too, to maintain being able to be of service with you. And that's very common. I believe that all abundance is surrounding through us. The colors of green is everywhere. The color of yellow is all over. It's a sense color. The green is the grass, the full abundance of everything. Color of energy is yellow and green and red and everything else that we could ever ask for. Because everyone deserves to be seen, heard, felt, and all light workers, all healers, all empaths, priestesses, queens, empresses of this world. Bring out your witch to release the witch wound, the ancestral ties that hold you back. The more we cycle into thinking something needs healing, something needs healing, something needs healing, we're never going to stop. But what if we cleared the path as we would when we're trying to get through a forest so that we could see the other side of that waterfall? What if we could do that instead? What if we could clear our way so that there's no, nothing in our path that stops us from being the full-fledged humanoid being of light, Acturian, Palladian, Lemuria, Lyria, Andromeda, Syria, gods and goddesses of all Egypt, Every single being that came here, even with that of the Anunnaki, the truth of the truths coming true to you. What if you could just clear the way 
and allow yourself the path that which you have been walking on for centuries. I had a beautiful client of mine call me the other day and you know, I felt so empowered and I felt the love and joy of her saying this story to me where she had received unexpected, unexpected money. And I'm gonna say this because I don't think money is a frequency that we should hate. It is a frequency that we should work with in a way that allows us to truly transform. I'll be honest, when I was younger, I used to despise that frequency because I'm like, oh, now I gotta pay another bill. Ugh, I gotta do this. No. It's a frequency that lets us do the services that we need to do as well. And if we hold it and we honor ourselves, honor our light, honor our truth of who we are, that frequency expands. The clearing of the path expands. And so do you. Your truth holds you in the space of your path. Your light guides you through the darkness and the clearing of anything that no longer resides in your soul is what makes your path completed consistently in every single lifetime that you've lived. We all have a mission. We all have something that we want to bring forth. We all seek the answer. And you're gonna hear this and you're gonna be like, well, everyone tells me that, everyone tells me I'm the answer. No, dear child, you are the answer. There is no outside source, but within you, that doesn't take away from what you can and cannot do because you can do anything you want, anything. The truth of the matter is, is that you do deserve big miracles of all that you wish. I had another client who I did this beautiful clearing with and she was so in despair um, with, with looking for someone to love her, looking for someone to cherish who she is. And I, I have to admit, I sort of giggled because I just, she's so beautiful inside and out and has such an amazing personality. She didn't see her worth inside of her. So I did, so the, I've done only just like a tiny part of this clearing here with you guys, because I want you to feel what it's like to activate and release the imprints that have kept us stuck. Our abundance gets siphoned by other things. And I'm not gonna get into that now because it's not worth talking about it at this moment. What I'm gonna talk about is her ability to come back and actually see herself allowed her to fully grasp into the truth of love, not just self-love, but the love of others. The universe showed her this beautiful galactic gateway and she went in, she said that she felt the universe going inside her heart, out through, and then she moved in and out and everything was feeling amazing. And all of a sudden she got dropped into earth and she could feel Gaia just hugging and loving her and blah, like it was, it was beautiful to hear because she said she'd never had visions like this. She's very powerful herself, but her disbelief in who she is held her back.
Don't hold yourself back. You're doing a disservice to yourself, but not just that. The generations and the legacies to come to our children, to our future children, to our unborn children, the more we open into our truth of who we are, the more our children can see how easy it is to truly step into themselves. Now, why did I put Return to Atslin on here? <clears throat> I'm going to talk about this one really quick, but not quick enough that you don't miss it, of course. Return to Atslin is about connecting you back to Atlantis and to a time when everything was a flow. But not only that, are we connecting you with that? I am also releasing all those cords that have held us, but bringing forth the truth and understanding of legacy and what that really means to you. About living the legacy that you are now and not waiting until the next generation comes. Be the legacy that you had wished was left for you. Be the pinnacle point right here, right now. That is what Return Act to Aslan is. It is about releasing you from the hold that has kept you from being who you truly want to be. Taking away this belief that you have some sort of responsibility to be a certain way in front of people. <coughs> Because you are much more than that. Your voice is part of everything that you are. And that is why I've left these two things on here. The release and the clearing of the pr prosecutional imprints that have been left in us as light workers, healers, empaths, priestesses, seers, all of what we call ourselves to be, but the release of it for you. And if you're wishing to work with me on a one on one basis for 12 weeks, where I truly work with you and show you the support, love, and connection within yourself, then come into the vortex of the 12 week alchemy leaders and feel into it. This program is listed at 1,777 1, USD. You know, most people came to me and they're like, you're crazy, Maria, what are you doing? It's my program. I'm creating this because I want to see all of you succeed into the spaces that you wish to have for yourself. For example, like one of my clients who now serves her clients with truth of the tea, the meaning of Tao. Or my other one who... Um, has regained her love for her sister, receiving unexpected blessings and miracles all over the place. She was gifted a trip to my freaking return to Atslan because of stepping into herself. And because she chose to not just sit with one thing, but continue to evolve in all areas of her life. So yes, you deserve big money miracles, but you deserve everything that you truly desire. And I assure you, these programs are meant to be there. Now, if the 12 week doesn't align to you, you want more, you want that beautiful one-on-one -on -one connection with me. We've got the six months and the 12 months. The 12 months is 7,777 USD. 
these programs used to be much higher, but I am not here to take away with greed. I am here to show you the magic that is within you. To return your memories and so that you can utilize them to bring out that golden empress inside of you. Because we all have had that queen, that empress, that duchess, the deities, the energy of true abundance. When we are abundant in one part of our life, the other one follows and it's like a trickle effect of waters keeps going and going and going and doesn't stop. It's an overflow. I am overflowed with love and connection and this, this beautiful, beautiful beings that are brought into this vortex even here with you all. I am so deeply, deeply in gratitude, appreciation. And I know that I have prayed and waited for all of this to happen. And I assure you, it quantum leaps the shit out of it when you take that leaf for yourself. When you connect to your true ancestral lineage and you say, yes, it is time. When you accept that your inner child is there and you stop pushing her away. Everything trickles, everything flows, everything comes together. You know, when I was coming to Edmonton, one of the things that I, I called on, <laughs> and I'm so abundant in, is love, love for myself, love for those who come into this vortex and love of a true divine masculine man who protects me, loves me, even does silly jokes of inner child with me and lets me take him to a witch's circle and doesn't even question it. And that was the first thing that I did to him when we first started dating. <laughs> And then with that, I was able to love all of everything else. And I'm not saying that was just the pinnacle point. I had the abundance of friends. I had the abundance of souls that I truly desired to meet because I was so afraid to showcase who I was. I was afraid people would judge me. I was afraid that people would hate me for saying the truth to their face. But then I realized as I was coming into this abundance that that is what was needed. I was needed. My magic was needed. And my inner child flourished to a point that you all got to meet my wonderful teddy bear that I have had for over 31 years. 32 years now, sorry. And I also have like a little Grogu as well that I got because of my connection with my witches, my women, my sisterhood, my friends who support and love and care I found the tribe that I wanted and I still to this day am still connecting with people every single moment of my life. And I'm joyful of it. And with that joyfulness comes more abundance, more people that come to you to work with you. Because I stayed in my discernment for myself. 
I got sidetracked a couple times. Trust me on that, I did. But I still found home in me. As you find home in yourself on who you are. But you got to allow yourself to activate those things that are coming forth for you. Activate the light that is inside of you. And when I mean activate, like it better blindside me. <laughs> I should be like, ah, because that's how bright you are. That is how truly bright your soul is. And your brightness helps to take others out of their own darkness sometimes too. I won't keep this too long. I just noticed it's uh, getting a little late here for you guys. So anyways, thank you so much for sharing this beautiful space. Thank you, Jamie, for letting everyone know that you work with me. I love that we are so connected. And yes, to your inner power of your Shamanan families in Philippines and how you've collected to the, your Babayan um families who have helped you activate and overflow with such love and abundance into your life even furthermore into your wisdom and your magic dear sister i am truly 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 love you and thank you so much for your time to the ladies who've taken the time to come here in this space with me to help connect and release some of those imprints with you as i said if you are looking to come and uh, connect into that a little bit more. Please take your time to book these calls because they are truly worth every minute. That's 60 minutes of one-on-one -on -one where you and I get to be in that quantum field together. I work with all different dimensions. I'm not in the 12, I'm in the highest realms of all the dimensions. We only know of certain ones here in this earth, but I could go further than that right here, right now. We are all very powerful. Yes, Divine Sister. Thank you so much, everyone, for staying on, being here, being part of this magical essence together. I would send you so much abundance, miracles, love, happiness, and joy this weekend. And uh, I will be on on Monday for you all. And if you get a chance to come in and channel with me again, I hope that you do because it is truly what's going to be happening here more often than not. And I'm going to talk about something that may trigger some of you, but please know it is not to bring judgment. It is not to say that I am better, you are better, or whatever. It is to bring in my discernment so that we can all either activate, connect, or have our opinions be heard because this is a sacred space of truth, of ourselves, of what we believe in, so that we can actually come into it and maybe feel into those emotions that do come. Divine Sisters, thank you so much. Blessings. Bye.